हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माइनिंग वर्ल्ड दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट टू मेक ए वीडियो इन इंग्लिश टुडेज टॉपिक इज एक्सप्लोजिव वी होप यू विल लाइक इट सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट एट फर्स्ट दियर कम्स द ऑफियस क्वेश्चन वट आर द यूजेस ऑफ एक्सप्लोजिव इन माइनिंग एक्सप्लोजिव आर यूज इन माइनिंग वेंचर टू ब्रेक हार्डर रॉक्स एंड कोल हुई कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन इकोनॉमिकली बाई मैनुअल पावर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वट इज एन एक्सप्लोजिव एन एक्सप्लोजिव इज अ सॉलिड और ए लिक्विड सब्सटेंस और मिक्सचर ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस हुई कैन चेंज दमसेल्स इंस्टेंटेनियसली इन टू ए लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैसेस एट हाई टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर when sufficient flame heat spark or shock is applied to it the conversion of explosive into large volume of gases at high temperature and pressure is responsible for breaking or shattering the harder rocks and coal the next topic is constituents of an explosive besides the explosive substance the main three ingredients of an explosive are oxidizer fuel and sensitizer oxidizer is used to provide oxygen which is necessary for the reactions carried out in the explosive the next main ingredient is fuels there are some example which is commonly used as fuel in explosive next is sensitizers sensitizers are added to the explosive mixture to make the explosive cap sensitive or booster sensitive The example of explosive sensitizer is nitroglycerin and non explosive sensitizers are aluminum methyl amine nitrate etc some other ingredients of an explosive are stabilizers flame depressant anti setting agent etc the next topic is types of explosive the explosives are classified into two types first low explosives and second high explosives low explosives A low explosive is a mechanical mixture of two or more substances none of which is an explosive by itself it comprises of a fuel and a oxidizer if a flame is applied to low explosives it burns but when it is confined then it explodes the explosion energy and velocity of propagation of flame is low in case of low explosives constituents of gunpowder which is an example of low explosive it consists of potassium nitrate 75% charcoal 15% and sulfur 10% in gunpowder potassium nitrate acts as an oxidizer and charcoal and sulfur acts as combustible matters there are some data given regarding product of combustion of gunpowder when proper ignition take place and when improper ignition takes place our next topic is high explosives a high explosive is a chemical compound and contains both fuel and oxygen atoms directly combined it must contain at least one ingredient which is an explosive by itself from the definition we get two differences between high explosives and low explosives the first one is a high explosive must contain an ingredient which is an explosive by itself but not that in case of low explosive and the second one is the contact between fuel and oxidizer in high explosives is more intimate than low explosives the explosion energy and velocity of detonation is very high in case of high explosives some examples for high explosives are nitroglycerin ammonium nitrate colloidal cotton or nitrocellulose tnt and fo etc our next topic is differences between low explosives and high explosives low explosives are ignited by flame heat or spark high explosives are detonated by violent shock which is known as detonation the velocity of propagation of flame is low in case of low explosives and it is very high in case of high explosives the propagation of oxidation process in case of low explosives 
is from particle to particle but in case of high explosives it is instantaneous low explosives give good heaving effect and high explosives give good shattering effect the pressure generation is low in case of low explosives and it is high in case of high explosives particles of low explosives burns for long time after explosion but in case of high explosives particles burn for short time thank you everyone for watching our video to get notes of our lecture join our whatsapp group link is in the description and first comment in our whatsapp group you can also get the answer of any mining related queries job information all the lectures notes including user notes also we also conduct mining quiz very frequently if you liked our video give a big thumbs up and also share our video with your minor friends and in college groups comment your feedback and suggestions also to encourage us and to get more mining related videos updates lectures etc subscribe to our channel mining world thank you again keep watching mining world